Hi, in this video, we are going to see a problem on binomial expansion. Okay, let's go over the question. Find the constant term in the expansion of uh, x squared into 1 over x, 4 to the 6th power. Okay, let's go over the general concept of binomial expansion. That is a positive b, 4 to the nth power. And uh, in this, uh, in the expansion of this binomial, the formula to find r plus 1th term is going to be uh, ncr a to the power n minus r, b to the power r. Okay, so if you compare this a positive b whole to the nth power and x square negative 1 over x whole to the 6th power, we get uh, a is equal to x square, b is equal to negative 1 over x and n is equal to 6. Okay, let's uh, plug in these values for a, b and n into this uh, formula. So we get T R plus 1 is equal to 6 C R X square to the power of N minus uh, R, which is going to be 6, 6 minus R. And B is going to be negative 1 over X whole to the power of R. Okay, our uh, aim is to find the constant term in the expansion of the given binomial. For that, what we need to do is, so like uh, in this uh, R plus 1 term, the variable X must have the exponent 0. So when uh, when the variable x is having the exponent 0, it, its value will become 1. So there will be no x in the term. So if there is no variable in a term, then the term can be considered as a constant term. So our target is the variable x must have the exponent 0 so that uh, the variable will vanish in the particular term and that term will be considered as a constant term. Okay, so uh, to do that, let's simplify this one. So for that, what we are going to do is 6CR. Uh, so here we have exponent 2. Again, we have exponent 6 minus R. So we can multiply the two exponents. So we get 2 times 6 minus R. And for this fraction, we have the common exponent R. So this uh, common exponent can be taken uh, separately for numerator and separately for denominator. When I do so, I'm getting negative 1 to the rth power over x to the rth power. So the next step, what we can do is we can write this r plus one term as six c r x to the power of uh, when I might distribute this two to six and negative r, it will be twelve negative two r times negative one to the power r over x to the power r. Okay, this one, this one, this one, all the three terms are in multiplication. So whenever uh, the terms are in multiplication. The denominator of one particular term can be taken as denominator for any term, so if the terms are in multiplication. So I am going to take this x to the rth power as denominator for this one, so that it will be easier for me to do simplification. So the next step, it will be t r plus 1 is equal to 6 e r x to the power of 12 negative 2 r over x to the power of r times negative 1 to the power of r. Okay, already we know uh, the rules of uh, exponents. That is like uh, if I divide two terms x to the th power by x to the bth power. Whenever we divide two terms in the same base, we can take the base ones and we can subtract the exponents. This is the quotient rule of uh, quotient law of exponents. So the same thing we can do over here because here the base is x, here also the base is x. We divide two terms in the same base. We can write the base ones and we can subtract the exponents. So we get. 6 c r uh, times x to the power of 12 negative 2 r minus r. I just subtract these two exponents times negative 1 to the power of r. Okay, if I want this term to be a constant term, the exponent of x has to be 0. If the exponent of x is 0, then the value of this term will become 1, then there will be no x and it will be it can be considered as a constant term. So the exponent already we have 12 negative 2 r negative r for x. So that must be 0. So it can be equated to 0 and solve for x. Okay, that we can do it on a new page. So the exponent 12 minus 2 r minus r must be equal to 0. Okay, so 12 when I combine negative 2 r and negative r it will be negative 3 r is equal to 0. Now I'm adding uh, 3 r to both sides. So I get 12 is equal to 3R to solve for R. I divide both sides by 3, 3, 3, 
cancel out and 3 goes into 3 1 times 3 goes into 12 4 so finally i am getting the value for r that is r is equal to 4 so we can plug in r is equal to 4 into this one to get the constant term so let's do it uh, over here so t r plus 1 r plus 1 means 4 plus 1 because we got the value of r and here 6 c r that will be 6 c 4 uh, times x to the power of already we know this is 0. So x to the power of 0, negative 1 to the power of uh, we have uh, r as x for negative 1, but we got r is equal to 4, so you can replace r by 4. And uh, in uh, combination we have a property that is ncr is equal to nc n minus r. Usually uh, we use this property to reduce the value of r, so our calculation uh, work uh, can be reduced. So in this 64, if I use the property over here, that is 64 is equal to 60, 6 minus 4, then we get 62. So 62 means 6 times 5 over 2 times 1, 2 goes into 2, 1 times 2 goes into 6, thrice. So I'm getting 15. So 64 is, uh, the value of 64 is 15 times, the value of x to the 0 power is just 1. And negative 1 to the 4th, but it's an even exponent. So this negative will become positive. 1 raised to the power, anything will be 1. So finally, 15, that is t4 plus 1 means that is nothing but the fifth term. So the expansion of the given binomial, the fifth term is a constant. The constant term is 15.